Hi there everyone, welcome to our channel Lunacy Art. I'm Scott, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. So in today's video is going to be a new review at looking at another homemade TCG and this one is going to be one that I always struggle to pronounce and I do apologise if I have pronounced this wrong but I'm going to take a look at today at one of the booster bats, the Doorham Rhapsody TCG and it's another homemade TCG and another one of my favourites from the homemade TCG community. And as always I will leave a link to each of these booster packs as I go through them in the description box below of where you can pick them up but the one I'll be looking at today is this one and I'll be looking at the other two in a future video or videos so let's put those off to the side and bring in the first booster pack so the first one we're going to be looking at is this one and it is the Meta Giants and again as I say I will leave a link to where you can get this from in the description box below so let's quickly take a look at the booster pack design their artwork is really, really, really amazing. It's one of the best artworks I've ever seen for a homemade TCG. So we've got the lovely font there, which I think is homemade. I think that's hand-drawn by the creator. We've got, again, I think that is also handmade in a font, which is the title there, Metal Giants, and the booster pack. Contains 18 random cards. They're kind of like the attributes that you can get and supporting the game crafter because the game crafter help publish our games so you guys can buy them and that's her logo or their logo right there for their game which if i zoom in for you guys there you go so that said and done what we're going to do is crack this open and open it up hopefully i can open it with the tabs this time right three two one nope oh no that one always likes to fight me let's try the bottom one <laughs> no, never can get in with these tabs. I think it's only Chris that can open them properly from Wrath of Cause. I can never open them. Right, there we go. Slide the cards out and put that off to the side. And again, another unique thing about this homemade TCG is the backs as well. You can see this there faintly, there's a pattern in the background. Kind of reminds me of Kingdom Hearts, if you ever play Kingdom Hearts, the way that they do their, their covers for their games and that. It's kind of what it reminds me of. You've got a beautiful logo there, and you've got trading card game, and copyright down there. So that's the backs of the game. Let's flip it over and see who our first card is going to be. So the first card we've got is Replacement Chips. And as you can tell what I meant by the artwork is that is some of the best artwork I have seen and I love the anime style. If you know me, I love anime, so this was right up my street straight away. And the fact it's a homemade TCG, it just blows my mind. But we got Stoic Bounty Hunter Vim. If I remember correctly, there is a way detecting the, the, um, the rarity. I think it's to do with these circles here or something to do with the power level but I think it's to do with how many of these circles is determined as a rarity. It's been a long time since I played the game but I'm sure Doorham Rhapsody will mention in the comments how to pick what cards are rare. So we've got a tiny dragon again, a beautiful artwork there. We have Call of the Shadow Dragon. I love the fact as well they've got different coloured borders too. Kind of reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh. Fair play. Unbreakable Bond, Demon Frog, Gunslinger Maya or Mayra, another beautiful dragon there, Easter Dragon, Chevron, Teamwork, Lance Amster Mist, Scrap Metal Summit, Albot, Mirage or Mirage of Destiny. Easter Dragon Chevron, so I've got two of them. If my camera can focus. We've got another Fair Play. Another Unbreakable Bond. Maverick Dragon Rider. Or Maverick Dever. I can't even ask, my tongue is not working today. So I have a Maverick or Maverick Dragon Rider. That's a really cool card. And as you see what I meant by the rarities, some of them have got one, some have got two, and this one's got three. So I'm assuming that is the rarity and the fact that the power level or whatever 
that this card that she's used or they have used for their game to determine the strength of the card. The higher the number, I'm assuming, the rarer the card. So that is it for the first look, or should I say the first review of Doorham Rhapsody, and this was the giant, see if I can look at the booster pack, Metal Giants booster pack. Again, I will leave this link in the description box below where you can pick up the game. Other than that guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I do have a couple more boosters of Doran Rhapsody I will be opening in a couple of days. And I'll be ordering some more because I think there's got to be about more than five or six booster packs that they've released. So I'll be trying to get all of them and review them for you guys. But other than that guys, let me know your thoughts and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Take care and have a good day. Bye guys.